I am Nikola Tesla. Hello. I'm just here for a very brief moment, but I want all those of you that are techn technology minded or technically minded, if you will, to start brushing up on your thought processes. All you that are inventors, start brushing up on your technology and your inventiveness. There will be a need for you in the future, and it's, the future is not that far off. And I would like to let you know that I will be guiding and directing some of you in your work. There are a few of you that have been developing some amazing technologies. You have been developing some field generators and some Tesla coils, whatever you want to call them. But they're generating some energy and some vortexes that are well needed at this time. So continue to do so. Also, those of you that have them, use them. Not all of you are using them to the fullest of their potential. Remember, if you have questions about them, look it up. Also, there are those of you that have some technical thoughts and technical willpower and know-how. Start to use it. Brush up on it. You will need it for times when perhaps there will be need for you to bring the electricity back or bring something back that was lost, technically, technology-wise. So therefore, Make sure that you are in your highest realm of understanding of the new thought processes in electricity. Also, I want to tell you that that can be connected to the spiritual understanding of many things. Spirituality and science can go hand in hand. They are not opposite of one another. Remember that. I think that is a beautiful key to on creation and different things about inventing the future. You are the future. Remember that. Not that you are in the present for no reason at all, but some of you are inventing the future and will be the future. So keep of good heart and mind that that is the truth. And don't let your skills go to waste. There is a lot of you that have talents, but you have no drive. Make sure that you are praying, intending any meditation to bring back that drive, that push that may be needed to save your timeline, or to invent something that is good for your peoples, for the world, and for the existence of mankind. I'm not here just to be talking and saying words that mean nothing, but I am here to advance you, to inspire you, to tell you that that is the truth that some of you will be at the reins of the future. Do not take that lightly. That was beautiful. Now, I Thank think you. there is a question out there I sent. Did someone have a question? If not, I will go. But there is someone that's thinking of a question. They just don't know want to say it. <laughs> This is Ian. Is it okay if I ask? Absolutely. Uh, I, I was thinking of a question, and I didn't know if it was appropriate or not to bring it up, and that was I had a curiosity, and I wanted to look up about you know the uh, understanding of the ley lines within the Earth and how when these ley lines cross each other, there's a certain type of vortex that happens. 
and there's efforts going on to I think they're building pyramid structures where the ley lines cross and I was wondering wondering if uh, you would be able to provide a little bit of an explanation of what these what these ley lines do and what happens when they cross and these pyramid structures are placed in those spots. Yes. Let me tell you this. The entire universe is algorith algorithms and numerology and numbers and wisdom and it is all designed to, to fit together in a way that is divine. So with that premise, I can tell you that the ley lines are there for a reason, and Mother Earth works with them, and there are those that are ancient that are actually working with the grids and the ley lines of the Earth to help the Earth continue to move forward. You are correct about pyramids. Pyramids bring in energy. They do much more than that. They bring in... Um, not only energy, but they are able to be utilized as transports, as communication devices, and things of this nature. And so you will find at certain areas of the grid lines that you will find pyramids or stargates in those areas because they are powerful areas and uh, contribute to the power of these particular objects so therefore yes they are not there accidentally or, or the pyramids and star uh, star machines are not there by accidents they are on the in the mathematical portions of the grid that works best for them is there any connection between those in a, any relevant way uh, between that and the uh, the, the magnetic polarity within the earth oh, yeah. uh, on that polarity it's, all flip. Of, it's all part of uh, the divine scheme of course the magnetic polarity will help uh, with those items as well but also keeps the earth in a balance so to speak if you understand what I'm saying yes yes so therefore yes there's many different reasons for why things are the way they are and it's good for you to recognize because i think that in some way you play a part of keeping them healthy and stable okay well thank you for answering that general question i appreciate it you're welcome i could go into much more detail but it's not necessary thank you thank you um, I believe Angie has a question. Angie? No, she doesn't have a question. I'm sorry. Okay, Very well. well. Never mind. <laughs> that is all right. I believe our time is about up anyway. So with that, I would like to ask if someone wants to share a blessing to close today. Or would you like me to bring Jim back first? I think you have lots of time. One moment and I will, Jim would like to come back because he would like to interpret the message. Perfect, thank you. One moment please. Bye-bye. Much love to you all.